Hey everybody, Rugged Elf here. How's everybody doing? So today I want to show everybody how to uh, find, expand, and upgrade your living ship. So if you already had a living ship and you went through the quest and you get a hold of another uh, wheat egg you'll be able to get yourself another ship. So, you're going to need a couple other components to do the expansion. And what you're looking for is, we can come over here, and if you got a freighter, which I am on mine now, but if you got a freighter, and you have some frigates, and you were able to pick yourself up some living frigates, when these ships come in and you go and check them out you're going to be able to get a and there it is the first one so log corruption loop iteration living vessel led by fleet black hole resurfaced okay so you collect a psychotic egg so what these psychotic eggs do is they actually give you upgrades for your ship the living ship so there are other so psychotic egg is added here so you get your psychotic eggs, you're going to need a few of them for you to do your upgrades. So, if you got enough frigates and they've gone out enough, you can, you can get a bunch of them. And see how many more I pick up when we do the rest of these ships. But, you have yourself a void egg. Now, what we're looking for... So you got money, 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 salvage frigate module, nothing off of that one. So but kind of what we're looking for is over here, you get a spawning sack. Now if you have these on your inventory when you got a living ship, you can hatch these storage sacks and you can add space to your ship you can get you can get all of your spots open on your ship so put that there we want to look for them spawning sacks and you want for that psychotic egg bunch of junk and money I've gotten up to five of those sacks at one time on these things but the thing is once you get your sack here's a corruption there's another psychotic egg so once you get your egg and the spewing sack then you can Use a duplication glitch and make some more of them. I had, I did that, but actually didn't have to do a lot of it because I get a, I get a bunch of these things as we go. So, but you know, a bunch of junk. So, nothing special. It's got two psychotic sacks at a time, so. And what you want to do, what you do that, so you get your stack of sacks. You're going to have your void egg in your general inventory on yourself. You can put it on your starship too. Actually, you can act, you can put this thing in the cargo department of your 
freighter if if it's in your storage it won't see it but it'll see it any place else you have it so I'm just gonna put that in there and what we're gonna do is we're going to go out we're gonna to have to warp and we're going to see if it pulls an egg now if you have I do have it, no matter. There it is. The anomaly detectors. You set one of them off when you warp with this egg. It will. When it comes upon an anomaly, the first anomaly it's going to come across is going to be that living ship. There we go. Now we detected. So once you the egg that's gonna egg's gonna attract this guy. And it is another living ship. Should not be I should not be another egg, another void. We may hatch another hatch the void egg. Okay. All right, so now you have coordinates to go get your egg. So it's on a life incompatible planet and with high sentinel activity. Beautiful. Couldn't ask for anything better. Uh, come in here. All right, so we get in here, we'll come up here, fly up to this egg. I don't know if it has any special tails on this thing. You can put them on the different ships, change the color of the tail. All right, so here we come. Normally, when I do this, I'll fly to about 10 different places to find a living ship. But for the purpose of what I want to show you, you'll see the anomaly. It brings you off to the ship. This is a ship that I would pass on <laughs> normally. But for such purposes now, we're going to take this ship. New behavior. Yes, 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 yes. So if you want to get the ship, you'll hit this confirm synthesis. It'll cost you 10,000 nanites. So you can get yourself a second living ship. Um, if it's not like I would do, I would reject this. Your screen will leave. Ship will take off, I guess. Got its butt hurt or something. But, but we're going to take this ship. So we have this ship. So right now, let's see what a holding ship is. Now I care. I might use this to... It's not too horrible, but it's going to take a bunch of upgrades for that to set that up. So we we will take it. So I'm going to claim this ship. So now it's mine. All right. So first thing I'm going to do, let me call in my freighter up here. Uh, it's just easier to do stuff. I don't have to worry about environment crap like that. So, right here, once you get your ship, you can come over here and hit this stuff. So it's greeted. You can read the lore if you like. So you can go in the cockpit and attempt to take the multi tool or leave. So, enter the cockpit. Alright, last sums cross control panel. Very stinky. So, I got a C class module out of that. So, 
Okay, you get different stuff. You can get nanites out of this one, but right now, let's go back to where we're doing. So, I'm going to get my ship. Got my new ship. And let's take a look inside. What are the selling points on this thing? Breathe. There you go. Okay. There you go. Let me ship. Alright, so then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this thing up to my freighter. If I don't run into anything on the way up. Because as you can tell, you can tell by the way this thing's maneuvering. That they won't make me fight them pirates, ain't they? they? Just keep putting them closer and closer to me. So, yeah, yeah, save point. It's my ship. Yay. Alright, so, it's not too terrible bad. Things I like about this is it takes regular resources. Processed meat. Eh, won't let me give it to you, huh? Eh, I'll feed you a steak. So, first thing you need to do is we need to get this, all these slots, all these empty slots, plus some extra slots, open in this thing. So, you fully have full. Right, so, come in here. So, we're going to hatch a storage thing. It's going to come over here. I just, I got to, I like to do my technology first. And you get a lot of technology in that. So when you come over here, your inflated sacks. This is a little cargo hold that you have. So and get some spawn, some additional sacks. So we're going to fill this up. This is going to take a good bit of what we have. That should be it. So that one's full. That one's full. And. The general storage set, general storage is going to be about the same size as that. Technology is huge. Alright, so I think I ran out. Or did I? Nope, had some left. Cool. So now, what I need to do is we'll put them back and in my ship Oh crapola. Okay. That wasn't too smart, was it? Alright, so my upgrades are in my other ship. But you know what I'm gonna do? Help oh, this. Let's do this. So we'll move that over there. Let's do that for right now. We're kinda of limited on space. So first thing I want to do I want to move all my stuff. And spew events on here. Now when I get done with all the ship and I get all the upgrades and everything on this, I want to use this to see videos I saw about creating a god ship. So this is going to be my experiment. But I have practiced with it in the past. And once these components are in the regular ship, you can't move them. So if you want to expand on them, because you can expand with manual ship parts along with these so something else now come over here we want to begin the biogenesis so we're just going to fill up down in here all right so we get these so first off when you first do this with your ship and you don't have anything in this right it's going to give you these three little squiggly things and you know, I know it's an adult show but I mean, tell you what I think it looks like but and it probably is so what you do is you evolve these 
and just let me I, I won't put them in here but they have to some of them have to go into a specific spot and I'll show you I'll tell you what they are once I get them all popped out and this is an awesome thing for the living ships it makes it so much easier to use so you have this chloroplast membrane what this does I say it will recharge your neural assembly when exposed to sunlight. So neural assembly is the takeoff launchers, the launch thrusters that you got to use. So if you put this, it's the only one that will do that too. So if you put this with this, you see they light up together. So this is working with that one. Okay. So now this one this is a neural shielding and but it still doesn't light up with the, anything else but what this does it if somebody's doing a scan on you and the pirates come out this will block the scan that'll block your scan from people coming in just like the defense sheets or the other the one you have for the regular ship I can't I never use it so but it just it kind of deflects their scan on you. So this one is the wormhole brain. So what this does, this is your economy and complex scanner. So when you go out into look for the galaxy to jump galaxies, you'll get see how many stars there are on each of those galaxies, and then you'll see everything you know what kind of conflict level the solar system has too so now come back since we have all three of them so they're pretty good you know you would never be able to have a scanner or anything before on these living ships this is awesome i like i love it yeah. so what i want to do now so we open these up yeah, let's open that one up too all right so that's a grafted eye so, just like evolving your ship, you'll come over here, there's your grafted eye, drop him in there. So, I'm going to go in and I'll show you a couple of these. So, the scream suppressor, so that's your shields. Let me show you some of these. And actually, while I'm here, you see, you got the A class and the C class. With the living ship, if you hover over this, you can evolve this for so many nanites, which will turn it into an S class. So, all of your upgrades that you have, you can evolve them. All right, and here I got a C. So, it's 210 for that one. 310 to get it to A and another 430 to S. So the C ones are a little more expensive. That's why I get these things. I want to try to get the highest ones first. And then we'll work on the C's. What the hell is that? Nope. Oh, yeah, that's you. I couldn't. Hmm, don't ask. Alright, so another pulse engine. How do I get a pulse engine? Now, that must have been there from before. Sorry, people. There's a singularity. So, if you come over here, and you look at the, on the right side here, you see the 163. So when I drop that in there, it goes to 261. I'll evolve it to a B, A, and then an S. So it takes me up. Now I got 542 light years I can fly with that. And I got enough mayonnaise.
All right, so I busted two of these sacks open here, right? So I just want to give you an idea how it goes. So you saw I bust them open. You can put them in place and you can expand them. Okay, so once you get your three in here, it's just like a regular ship, three there. And then you get three here. So I need some more in the top here, but just to wrap this stuff up a little bit for us. Once you get this, you'll have a fully loaded living ship. Okay. So first thing I want to do, yeah, you know, make a save. So if you like what you see here. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button and I want to see you very soon and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.